Okay, my feet. I just got done working out upstairs, and I did three sets of bar dips. Yeah, and I did two sets of tricep press downs. I did 15, uh, 20 to 15 reps bar dips. Next, down, look. Look at that. Range all in my body. I did a set of 20 bar dips. Then I rested a few minutes, and then I did 15 more, man. I gotta straighten out that camera. I stay there, man. Okay. And then I did 12 more. And then I rested a few minutes. And I did 12 more. One more minute and 12 more. But a minute rest between sets. Then I did two sets of tricep, tricep press downs. 12 reps hard, man. All the, I'm gonna upright, but, but uh, uh, yeah, bar dips, man. And the other day, last night I did upright rows for the traps. And then I did curls. Two to three sets each. Yeah. Look at me, I'm huge. Look at me. I jolt on my body. Look at that. Look at that chest, man. Look at that. I jolt on my body. Look at that. And still box, man. I stay at my speed. Because bodybuilding increases flexibility. <laughs> Smoking Joe Frazier, left hook. <laughs> Smoking Joe Frazier, left hook. <laughs> so I'm getting as big as Sergio Oliva, my hero. Sergio Oliva Sr., the one was a cop in Rogers Park. I met him three times. He was huge. He beat Arnold once back in 1970 for Mr. World, Mr. Olympia. In 69-70, he was Mr. Olympia. He beat Arnold once, man. Look, I'm huge. I'm huge, man. Those triceps, man. Those traps, man. So I'm doing upright rows, man. Do them once a week. Three sets. I do each exercise once a week. And today, I do bar dips. Three sets. And then and tricep press downs. And then tomorrow, I'll probably take off. And then Tuesday, I do overhead press or... Or else I might do uh, pull downs or uh, rowing, you know, for back. That builds up the lats, man. Little lats right there, man. Okay. Bum, bum. Smoking Joe Frazier, left hook. Bum, 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 bum. Then he passed the Enza. Pass, man. I met him. Nice guy. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, I'll see you. Got to put my shirt back on. Like Ron Ronda Adam says in the Monster Bash. Come on, Dave, put your shirt back on. I take my shirt off and flex it Monster Bash every year. Monster Bash, God, no, U.S. There's Glenn Strange, Frankenstein, my favorite Frankenstein. He was on last night at Swingulian in House of Dracula. Wear probably my Monster Bash shirt. Yeah. And flex my muscles. Those triceps, man. Triceps. It's 100% pure beef. I never took a steroid. I've just been eating good for 40 years and drinking my milk. Do you get my milk? After my work, I have a big glass of milk, a couple glasses with a snack, with a couple cookies or a banana. Yeah, cookies or a piece of pie after a workout is good. Or a scoop of ice cream with that and uh, some milk. Because after a workout, your body needs the quick carbs. Then like about 15, about 20 minutes later, a half hour later, I have a nice meal. Like I'm going to have a baked potato with some ground beef grilled on my George Foreman grill and some veggies. I got steamed veggies. I got cauliflower this time with garlic seasoning salt. I, oh, garlic seasoning is going to be great. I've never tried my guys. Sometimes I'll have mixed vegetables or, uh, you know, broccoli or something. Or the Asian vegetable medley. It's got an Asian flavor. It's delicious. Yeah, the steamed vegetables, get them in a bag. Okay, I'll see. I, I have made about a third of that bag. That's a lot of veggies. I think made about a third to a half of that bag. Bag by that big. Because, you know, and I'll save the rest for tomorrow or the next night. Mmm. Got to drink my milk, get my protein. Got to build my all-natural muscles. It's an all-natural protein drink, milk. It does a lot of good. Yeah, calcium, got protein, got calories, got... Some fat in it, you need some fat, and it's got some carbohydrate in it actually. Mm. Okay, I need a couple sugar wafers to dunk in there. A couple cookies and milk, that's a good after workout snack. 
because like I said, your body needs some quick carbs after a workout. Right after a workout, it's okay to have some something like that, like a few cookies or a piece of pie with your glass of milk or your protein drink. See, it don't take steroids. Your body creates, manufactures its own growth hormone. And it's released during resistance exercise. I've read this. Your body has growth hormone in it. It just needs to be activated. It's activated by exercise. By resistance exercise is a good way to release that growth hormone. It just stays dormant because people don't exercise. That's why my muscles are pumped up because I activated my hormones that are already in my body. My testosterone growth hormone that's in my body because I worked out. And so my muscles are pumped up. And if you eat good, it's got protein. That's what builds the muscle, the protein that's in the food you eat. Amen. And if you eat good and get your protein, your carbs, and you got to get some fat, by the way, you need some fat. That'll, that, that'll, uh, that's how you keep yourself healthy and strong. And your body keeps testosterone in it. You can, you can increase your testosterone level by having enough protein in your diet and also enough fat and enough uh, carbohydrate. Not too much of the saturated fat, but you need some of it. Some of it is good. You need some fat in your diet. You should eat things like avocados and nuts. Those got good healthy fat in them. Amen. Avocado, nuts, a little canola oil, a little of that. I'm not saying drink a lot of it, but have some of it a little bit. A few tablespoons a day with your salad or whatever. Hmm. Okay, I'll see you. Hey, one teaspoon a day, uh, canola oil, you know, put it on your salad with the dressing or whatever. It's good. That's a good, healthy fat canola oil, olive oil. Okay, I'll see you.